Hello, students. I'm Suela, your English teacher. Welcome to our class. Are you ready? Let's start! Nas últimas aulas, conversamos sobre como perguntar o signo de alguém. Conversamos também sobre como falar da personalidade das pessoas. Além disso, falamos sobre as nossas rotinas. Na escola, nos esportes e até mesmo sobre as nossas rotinas de atividades culturais. Do you remember? E por falar em rotinas, qual é a primeira coisa que vocês fazem pela manhã? Eu adoro ler horóscopo, sabe? Então eu não saio de casa sem antes ler as previsões do meu dia. Sabe como é, né? Melhor ser precavida. E olha que engraçado. Hoje, no caminho para cá, eu estava dando uma olhadinha nas minhas redes sociais e eu vi que um apresentador de reality show muito famoso fez uma brincadeira lá na página dele. Ele falou o signo de alguns participantes e pediu a opinião do público sobre quais eram as suas características mais marcantes. Let's try to discover what they have said. This is Juliet. She is a Sagittarius. Vamos descobrir o que o público disse sobre ela? Look at the box. Most of people consider her intelligent, impatient. So, according to these people, what's Juliet like? Shy and patient, intelligent and impatient, emotive and hardworking. What's the answer? Letter B, intelligent and impatient. Good. What about Gil? Look, he's a cancer. What's Gil do Vigor like? Pay attention to the box. What's the answer? Letter C. Emotive and hardworking. And Thais. She is an Aquarius. What's Thais like? Look at the box. What's the answer? Letter A. Shy and patient. Well done, students. Eu falei para vocês que eu gosto de saber com antecedência o que o dia me reserva. Look at this image. What is it? A horoscope or a social media post? Yeah, it's a horoscope. And what zodiac sign is this? Look, Aries, very good. And what are the dates of birth? Que são as datas de nascimento relacionadas a esse signo. Pay attention to the text. From March 21st to April 20th. Good. Now, let's read my daily horoscope. Perfect time to take care of your health. Don't work so much. You need to practice sports more often and do activities to relax your mind. Pay attention to your finances. It's not time to spend much money. According to my horoscope, check the activities I can do. Work hard. Yes or no? No. Look. Don't work so much. Play sports.
Yeah, for sure. I need to practice more sports. Read a book. Yeah, look, it's an activity to relax my mind. Spend money. No, it's not time to spend money. Great job, students. Let's keep working. Mm. Meu horóscopo diz que eu preciso praticar mais esportes. What sports should I practice? Let's take a look at my planner and check my free days. Look, I don't have activities on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. So I can say, I'm free on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. But look, I don't have any free afternoons to practice sports. It's in the evenings. Let's check. Look, I have two free evenings. So, complete. I'm free on. Monday and Wednesday evenings. Great job! You already know my free days. Can you help me choose the sport I should practice? My friends practice different sports. Look, these are my friends, Fabiana, Katia, and Lillian. Can you identify the sports they practice? Look at the boxes and match them to the pictures. What does Fabiana do? She goes cycling. And what does Lillian do? She does stand up paddle. Finally, what does Katia do? She does weight training. Excellent! I think I have a problem. I don't have a bike to go cycling. I hate to go to the gym to do weight training. And I lose balance when I try to do stand-up paddle. What sport should I practice? Let's check other options. Look at these pictures. They are famous sports people. What sports do they play? This is Rosa Maria. She plays. Volleyball. This is Hortência. She plays. Basketball. And this is Marta. She plays soccer. Excellent. And how often do they play sports? Let's check. How often does she play volleyball? Once a week, twice a week, three times a week, or every day. Pay attention to her planner. Look. Every day. Rosa Maria plays volleyball every day. Great. Now it's up to you. How often does she play basketball? Twice a week. Hortência plays basketball twice a week. Very good. And how often does she play soccer?
three times a week. Marta plays soccer three times a week. Well done, students! Eu ainda não sei que esporte eu vou praticar. Ah, já sei. Vou mandar mensagem aqui para uma amiga e eu tenho certeza que ela vai me dar uma dica. Hey, Gabriela. Good morning. Hi, Sue. Good morning. How are you doing? Not so good. I need to practice more sports, but I don't know what to do. Let's go skating together. I'm sure you love that. That sounds great. When do you go skating? On Monday and Wednesday evenings in Madureira Park. Are you free on these days? For sure. I will be there. Thanks for helping me. According to what you heard complete. Gabriela goes. Skating or running? Skating, that's great. And how often does she go skating? Twice a week. Perfect. Look at this part of the conversation. When do you go skating? On Monday and Wednesday evenings in Madureira Park. So, what can we say about Gabriela? How often does she go skating? Always, sometimes, or never? She always goes skating. Perfect! What about me? How often do I go skating? I never go skating. Mas só por enquanto, hein? A partir de hoje eu vou arrasar nas pistas do Parque de Madureira. E por falar em Parque de Madureira, vocês sabiam que lá, além de vocês aproveitar aquela paisagem maravilhosa, para praticar esportes, atividades de lazer, vocês também podem ter acesso a atividades culturais. Lá na Nave do Conhecimento, vocês têm acesso a computadores com internet, biblioteca digital, cursos, oficinas, tudo isso de forma gratuita. Vocês costumam fazer atividades culturais? Com que frequência? Há uns dias eu fiz essa mesma pergunta para os meus alunos e eu pedi que eles me enviassem fotos das atividades culturais que eles faziam, informassem também a frequência com que eles praticavam essas atividades. Let's try to discover what they have said. How often does she dance ballet? Don't forget to check the frequency box. She Always dances ballet. Very good. And how often does she recite poems? She sometimes recites poems. And how often does he go to the library? Here, sometimes goes to the library. Great job, students! Estamos chegando ao final de mais uma aula. No início da aula de hoje, eu brinquei com vocês, falando que eu não saio de casa sem ler meu horóscopo. Vocês conhecem alguém que seja tão supersticioso? E até que ponto essas superstições podem ser saudáveis? Let's think about it. Hoje, revisamos como perguntar o signo de alguém, como falar sobre a personalidade das pessoas, como falar sobre atividades esportivas e como informar a frequência com que realizamos atividades esportivas e culturais. 
Hey, students, that's the end of our class. It was nice to have you here. See you soon.